Now, the, th the thing is, the, the, in, in America, obviously, you're a very kind of litigious society. Mm -hmm. What was the one we were talking about this backstage? What was the one, the, oh. the recreational vehicle? Oh, the yes, big, big a man who thing. actually won a suit. He bought a brand new RV, recreation vehicle, uh, went out on the highway, uh, put it on cruise control, and then went back, back to make a cup of coffee. <laughs> We've and he sued because he, he thought that cruise control meant that somehow it would stay on the road oh. <laughs> without him at the wheel. <laughs> and he won. <laughs> It's like that advert. Have you seen it with a woman? In England, there's this famous one where this uh, quite fat woman slips over in the foyer. Have you seen it? And that puddle is so funny. She goes down like a sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't see the water. Too busy eating. <laughs> You say, but it's so funny. You're meant to go, oh, how shocking. And she won like 5,000 pounds. <laughs> Honestly. You're like, you go, oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just gone a bit too much. And it? it's gone too far, and it's... I love the bit with her handbag as well, where they just like, oh, yeah, the pasty flies out. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested because it's, it is kind of new here. Has anyone in here phoned the accident helpline? Nobody or someone it. who lost both arms in an accident? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, listen, well I've, I've got a phone here, so um, let's see what they, what they say. Because I'm at work. Are you going to make, make up an injury? Uh, what does you could say? say Glenn Close kicked one of his shoes and it hit you in the forehead. <laughs> We're playing shoe golf. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a stiletto in my eye. <laughs> uh, Miss Close hurt my feelings by laughing at my shoe golf skills. Oh, it's yeah, that's yes. good. Uh, 0800. What's great is it's a free prank call. Often <laughs> you're. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello. I wonder if you'd help me. Uh, my name's Graham Norton. I'm at work right now. And uh, the Hollywood actress, Glenn Close, has just hurt my feelings. Uh, do I have a claim? Um, no, you don't, but uh, I've just traced your number and we have to pass you on to the police every time we get caught. <laughs> what have you done that's, to me? That's, that's fine. But if you don't want people calling, you must stop advertising on television. <laughs> this will happen. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Can we report you to the police? <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> if that ends up on page six in New York... <laughs> Glenn Close, arrested. I'm going to come back and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> arrested police raid. Police raid. OK, rest of the show quite fast. OK. Uh, uh, we all love Christmas, but someone on this couch loves Christmas a little more than everyone else. Oh, yeah. Mm. That would be... No, not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think you love Christmas till you encounter Jamie Foxx, King of Christmas. I am the King of Christmas. You love Christmas. <laughs> I am the King of... I love it. I think it's the greatest... And you know what? I've been doing a Christmas party now for... I think about 17, 18 years. In L.A., like, people couldn't get back to their family, so about 18 years ago, we started having that Christmas party every, like... Is this, when the, is this when the outfit comes out? Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's crazy. That's a whole lot of eggnog right there. Uh, eggnog we, and stapling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but we had that, and we had a, the bad what do you call it? The ugly sweater contest and all oh, that. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So we we get out, we get out for Christmas. No, and you know you see those ads where people put the lights on the house, you know, and it all yeah. looks amazing. Dave, his house what? does look amazing. That's your house, right? Yeah. It's magical, isn't it? <laughs> Like, I want my kids to feel like it's Disneyland. Or when it Disneyland, comes right? You know what I mean? <laughs> but so, one, but one bulb would, that whole thing would shut down. You'd be in the dark. <laughs> you'd be, you'd, 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 you'd be in the dark for like two days. Like, <laughs> lighting candles and stuff. Now, how long does that take to put up? I mean, obviously. It takes do... about a month. It takes about a month. You're kidding me. You, you did it all by yourself? It, I, my bare hands. No, you didn't. <laughs> 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 Me through the, through, the, through the strength of Jesus. <laughs> because that's the baby I mean, Jesus. I have what, to get out there myself. Prayer, like provides you, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> the thing is, it's not as easy as it looks. Because so we, we found some evidence, uh, pictures that are out there. So here's someone who bought the lights, right? They bought the lights, yeah. but that isn't enough. Uh, you, you really need to do <laughs> 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 it's like they were going yeah. for an 
bicycle thing. Yeah. It just like finished. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that did not take a month. No, that, that dude fell off a ladder <laughs> in the process. And I bet you, Jamie Foxx's neighbor might want to do this one. This is quite clever, this. Where they just. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people do put a lot of work into it, yeah. but they, I, I think they don't really get into the, the spirit of Christmas. Yeah. Look at this one. Like, that's not Christmas. <laughs> 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 oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that <is so> good. <laughs> and then this one, I love. Someone, someone on a town council somewhere must have been fired when they turned on the Christmas lights on Main Street and found this. <laughs> Which, now, because I haven't seen this picture yet, but Usher, you also go quite Christmas crazy. Well, last year was a, a new space for me, and I decided to go um, blue. That was the thing. Okay. So um, I was, I'm, I'm competitive too. Yeah. I wanted to have like the lights of the neighborhood. Yeah. I, I'm, I might have blown out the entire. Yeah. You know, okay, so we've got a picture. We've got a picture so of Usher's uh, house, I think. Oh wow. my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, I go hard, man. Oh, you saved. That was yes. obviously... He was, like, looking at your house thinking, yeah, yeah that's really funny. That's good. Yeah. yeah. In a minute, I'll show them my house. Did you hire... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you hired the dude to do a school. It's a tie. Wow. <gasps> Look at you and your sexy cat suit thing. Thanks. It's like what? a fancy condom. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew looks impressed. You cannot imagine how long I spent wondering what to put on. <laughs> this is my first option, yeah. Oh, well, listen, uh, congratulations Thank on everything. You. It Thank is fantastic. Because to an old far like me, it seems like it's happened overnight to you. But for you, you, you yeah. feel like you've been waiting for this. Mm, yeah, it's been a long time coming. Because you were, you, you were in an Andrew Lloyd Webber musical in the West I End, was, weren't you? Yes, I was. I was brought in with Sudan the Wind for two years. I'm the only person that ever f fell off the stage during the performance. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> during the tension to myself. Yeah, I fell into the orchestra pit. <laughs> during, the, during the show. So my nickname in the musical theatre world is now Brat Pit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. See, the West End, West End. Yeah, See? Oh, yeah, 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 chatting. Um, now, uh, you just had your first number one, I know. which must be the coolest thing on earth. It's, uh, well, I, so, I don't I, know how to like. So, how do you celebrate? How do you celebrate? How... <laughs> she bought that outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my teeth whitened. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm joking, I'm really not. <laughs> and uh, you were at the Brits. That yes. was so sweet at the Brits. Your speech when you won at the Brits. Yeah. My famous sideburn stick. <laughs> it's, I'm growing my fringe out and we've tried to make it look like a thing and now I just look like I've got a Lego man helmet head. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's amazing hair though. I, 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 I've been wondering if it's a wig or not. No, it's, it's not, amazing. it's real. Yeah. It's so shiny. And uh, very exciting because of course you met the Bieber. I did. Yes. I'm um, a Neva Bieber. Oh, don't let it go. He's not here. <laughs> uh, I look so happy. I'm like, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the youngest waiter on earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, no, he was lovely. He was having Nando's when I went in. Aww. I had food envy. <laughs> And, uh, Did he ask you out? He seems to ask everyone out. No, he didn't. He was, he was really sweet. He actually mentioned me at the Brits. And um, I was sitting there, like, powder my nose, kind of waiting to, do, like, to, you know, go up on stage. Yeah. really nervous. And I just heard, like, yeah, I'm rather feeling Jesse G. And I just felt like all his fans, even though they weren't there, just kind of was like... <laughs> like, was like Who's this girl that he's just said? It was terrible. Don't mess with the believers. No. No. It just, uh, yeah. But they're... no, he's lovely. And yeah. his film's really good. His hair in 3D is epic. Oh. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> it's really I, I look forward to that. Uh, I noticed an impatient <laughs> band waiting. Uh, what are you going to sing for us? Um. I was going to say something funny then, like it's Rain of Men, but no, I'm going to sing my single. Feel, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> you take to get over set. there. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to do price tag, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Every, 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 number one. We love price tag. Very good. And, of course, that is from uh, the forthcoming album, uh, Who You Are. Yes. And this is extraordinary. They've had to bring it forward, the yeah, release date. Yeah, due to demand. Due to demand. Impatient people. Yeah, people banging on shop windows and things. <laughs> it's causing riots yeah. and scenes. So it's coming out on the uh, 28th. Is it that is. next Monday? Um, yes. Is that yeah. next Monday? This is Monday. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What day are we doing this? Well, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the next I'm Monday. Like I'm, like, I'm here in Scotland. They know, Jesse, you're there in four weeks. I'm not here. I'm in the future. <laughs> 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 All right, well, listen, if you want to go off and get ready. On that note. If you want to go off and get ready. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. All right. Don't, don't, don't look. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, listen, uh, Night at the Museum, it has everything you, you expect from the movie. It's got the, it's got the jokes, it's got the excitement, it's got the chases and stuff. But the thing you don't expect is that emotional wallop that comes from seeing Robin Williams mm. in, in his kind of last performance. And you can't have known when you were filming how poignant all of that was going to be. No, I mean, I, I think there was, you know, there's, uh, on the set we felt like this was going to be the last Night at the Museum movie, so there was that awareness of it, um, but obviously, you know, no clue about um, what was going to happen. Yeah, I, I mean, we, I went to, like, you know, one of those press screenings, and yeah. everyone was just bawling. It's yeah. just because everyone I've ever met who knew him, absolutely loved him. I've never heard a bad word said about him. It's all true. He's, he was lovely all the time. He never forgot to be the nicest person in the world. Do you know what I mean? He, if he had a second between takes, he'd be entertaining the crew. Or, you know, he, he, was, he was amazing. He was a lovely man. And is it true that the endings was changed to make it less sad? Um, I don't know if it was necessarily changed to do that. I think they, you know, the process in these movies is always changing until the final cut of the movie, but... Um, there was always a moment at the end where, you know, there was hopefully a moment where there's a possibility that everything, you know, can come back and all that, not to give away too much. Yeah. yeah. And uh, on a happier note, Rebel Wilson's character has a love interest. Yeah. Um, also played by Ben Stiller. He totally, like, does an Eddie Murphy in this movie. <laughs> 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 and that plays, like, more than one character. And lucky for me, he plays, like, this Neanderthal caveman guy called La. Yeah. Ah, uh, there he is. Oh, look at that. Look at those guns. Uh, that's, his, that's his best moment. You could yeah. see in the scenes that yeah. he, he said, no, I'll rip that off. He could, he'd been working yeah. out for... <laughs> it must be steroids, cos they were amazing. <laughs> they were, like, massive. Between and... takes, he's like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he's a paleo man, so, you know, yeah. be, he would spend yeah. a lot of time... Of course, out of course. The, ...having a full yeah. chest yes. wax and out in the bush. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, then, yeah. and you, got a, you got a kiss? Yeah. The first time I went in for the kiss, Ben goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I went, oh, am I like, has <laughs> something dodgy about my breath? Um, but Ben didn't think it was a take and he didn't want me to ruin his prosthetics with like passionate <laughs> kissing. Have you ever made out with prosthetics on? Do you know I haven't? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a tricky thing. Yeah. Have um, you? <laughs> yeah. anyway, it was time. I, uh, <laughs> I had prosthetic lips on. And so mm. that you had Fake to say, yeah, that's yeah. amazing for them. But no, that's interesting because is it you in every single? You know, there is this rumor that Tom right. Cruise is Law at one point. It's not Tom Cruise. Definitely oh not Tom God. Cruise. Oh my God! Really does look like <laughs> him. <laughs> no, but, well, well, but but Tom Cruise did do famously the Captain yes. for you in Tropic Thunder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, we had a great time doing that. And is it true that those were static arms? Aren't they? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And when we wrapped that movie, Tom sent me as a gift those arms. What a beautiful a case. Thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love it. And it's like he's smashing a Diet Coke can in the arms. So <laughs> what I would have you use a Tom Cruise arm like that for, though? It's hard to know, is it? <laughs> what, good, what good is that? Yeah. Yeah. You're getting the skateboard. <laughs> You're getting the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but you collect a lot of that stuff, don't you? I collect, yeah. Well, I, I collect um, stuff from movies uh, that... Some of the stuff, uh, movies I've done, but really mainly Star Trek memorabilia, because I love Star <laughs> Trek. <laughs> oh, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> have, you never been in, have you never been in a Star no, Trek? No, I've never been in a Star Trek, but I love the original series, so I have... Oh, okay. Like, I have the Gorn head from the original series from the episode Arena, where... Like, they know what... <laughs> I know, I'm just... I'm not, I'm just nodding. Oh, the Gorn head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a head. The Gorn head. Okay. I have... <laughs> I have, what the f is a gone head? <laughs>
What the Gorn is? The Gorn from Star Trek? Yes. We're going to give you the Gorn head. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Okay. Do you have yeah. any of the boulders? Do you have I, any of the boulders? I don't have any of the, the light boulders yeah, made yeah, out yeah, of yeah. paper mache. No, yeah. but I have Spock's ears from. from oh, yeah. oh, they yeah. actually not that. Oh, yeah, they're you know cool. Yeah, yeah, we know what they are. They're worth. Yeah, very good. Now, we're going to do We must congratulate. Here's the thing, like the build up to this thing has yeah. been so intense. It's like, oh, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey. So now that it's finally here, is it like a huge relief? It is a relief. I mean, we finished filming over a year ago. So uh, obviously for Sam, a director, she's spent most of that year in a dark room editing it and, uh, you know, all, everything that goes with post-production. Um, <laughs> Everything's funny. Everything's funny now. Just thinking of her in the dark room. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alone. Yes. <laughs> it took her a year to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine the fun we had on set with this kind of banter. No, I can imagine. Yeah. Did no. you have fun on the set? Yeah, of course, man. Because, you know, it's... Uh, especially when we get into the red room and, you know... Yeah. I've never been in a room like that in my life. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've had some big nights. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, but you know, I, 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 we're totally new to all this apparatus. Um, yes. uh, and I had to be comfortable with it because, you know, he, Christian's the one that uses it. Yeah. So I asked to spend a bit of time in there by myself <laughs> um, to get to know my way around. Are you flushed, too? I'm just having a bit of a flush. <laughs> 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 um, no, because I, I haven't read these books. I mean, Julie, have you read the books? I had. Oh, have you? But by mistake, I didn't know what I was getting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, did, I just did think it was 50 grades of hay. No, I, I just, it was on the sort of, on the, ex, the, the outreaches of my awareness, if you like. And I just, people were talking about it, so I just had a new Kindle. So I ordered that because people were talking about it. Bit of a shock. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I know the film is going to be better. Because Jamie's much better than my imagination for a start. <laughs> yeah, and Sam Taylor Woods directing it, yeah. so, you know. Yeah. And Sam Taylor Johnson now. Oh, I beg oh. yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Now, Stephen Mangan, have you read these books? No, but it's nice to see a film that depicts people having sex in a way that the vast majority of the population does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't believe there's anyone here who doesn't have uh, a sex torture chamber in their house. <laughs> yeah. I have two. <laughs> <laughs> knocking them through to build one <laughs> um, Yeah, but no, I haven't read the books. I think See, they're, I mean, they're I, sort of a woman. Well, well, is it a, a okay? Woman. So here's the thing. So just this is just uh, this isn't scientific. So how many women here? So shout out. How many women here have read the books? Yeah. Okay. And how many men have read the books? <laughs> yeah. no. Is there one? Where's the man who read it? There. Show yourself. Get Did you re that. have you really read the books? <laughs> yeah. Did you enjoy them? No, oh, they're shite. <laughs> that's all true. But that's what I like about that is he said they're shite. Yeah. He read more than yeah. one. <laughs> Just to be sure. Yeah. <laughs> This is, I don't know if this is true, but apparently it's not the only music that, that you really love. I've heard there's a particular song that's very, very special to you, Michael Fassbender. Oh, sure. Really? Yeah. No, don't you know... What is it? Don't you, know, <laughs> don't you... Apparently you know all the words to... <laughs> yes! I don't know all the words, but I can do the synthesizer. Oh, and I can jump in at some of the words. Give us more of that. Give us more of that. That was... In case you don't recognize it, it's uh, Africa by Toto. Yeah. Let's do it. Scuba, scuba. James McAvoy. Like. It's like at my wedding with my two uncles. Yeah, exactly. It was great fun and got to do some singing as well. And <gasps> singing? <laughs> yes. We did 
just went so out of the top ten right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. oh, dear. Something this. I came across this thing. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, how to write a Duke of Hazard episode? Have you seen no. this? No, no, no. How does that um, work? Uh, uh, oh, there it is. So, uh, <laughs> if the question, if the question. Is this the episode where Boss Hogg comes up with a crazy scheme to put the Dukes in jail or swindle honest folk, but in the end it's spoiled in part due to his own stupidity? Doesn't apply to your episode. You've got to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, there's a fabulous bit about, uh, about Daisy down here. Um, if you decided not to focus your episode on the General Lee, Daisy is a good second choice. Uh, the suggested plots, Daisy is forced into a shotgun wedding, Daisy is kidnapped, Daisy falls in love. Remember, though, that Daisy is a strong, independent woman, and not just a pretty object to look at. With this in mind, be sure she wears those cut-off jean shorts. <laughs> They're designed to accentuate the legs and ass of a strong, independent woman. <laughs> Talking of legs and ass of a strong, independent woman... Yes. See, uh, how can you not have fun with that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you, I, just for a moment, this poster was so iconic at the time. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, is yeah. it true that outsold the Farrah Fawcett one? It was Farrah Fawcett and then you... Well, what was along. unusual about that is that Warner Brothers refused to do a poster with me because they wanted me to be in a bikini, they wanted to oil me up like all the other girls and grease my hair back and put red nails. And I said, I'm just going to wear my own clothes. I'm going to do my own poster. And they said, fine, we won't pay for it. So I made my own poster, and that was it. But did you, did you own it when you sold it? And I it? owned it. Yeah, there's... Uh, yeah. And these are your own clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. It, and you, you really went all out on the flower budget. You're getting overheads really low, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And, and I was thinking, because I remember the show in a particular way. Right. What way was that being? <laughs> well, my own personal way. <laughs> and, uh, when, when I talk to people, everyone's going, um, oh, Daisy Duke, Daisy Duke, Daisy Duke. I, like, <laughs> I remembered you being in it. But, uh, <laughs> And then I thought, have I misremembered this? And, but I've been watching old episodes, and you do take your shirts off all, all the, the time, time for no, no reason. No, it man. was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever feel a bit weird and creepy about it? No. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Not her. She dug it. Uh, I like it. <laughs> we don't want to get our shirt dirty while we're working on a car. No, no, that was it. That, that made me laugh so much. That's right. It has no the, body minute, fat. the minute you have to do anything, shirts off. <laughs> There's, uh, there's John looking all. Uh, oh my God. John. Decorous. Did you get one of the sleeping shots? No. Somebody just gave me one of those sleeping. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> The other thing, now, cause I, again, because you forget, and then I was just I was watching it, and like, your jeans, I, I didn't know where to look. <laughs> I mean, it's just. It's, I was embarrassed. Honestly, I'm 44 years old, I was embarrassed. I was like, oh, don't, ooh, don't shoot it like that. It was just. <laughs> no, did you? I guess maybe was they, it, were they just the jeans of the time? Yeah, well, because we wore them. Well, today, so. even today, we that's what the cowboys dress like that. Really? You know, it, it, they, uh, they do. They get uh, on the horse, and it's got to be kind of tight. And it's got to be kind of tight. And you well, maybe not really that tight. <laughs> now, I have been uh, looking at all, because all these DVDs are out. I know, all seven yeah. seasons. All seven seasons. And, uh, ooh, hang on. What's Sorry. this? Child benefit details. <laughs> Top secret. <laughs> when you got here, but this story's happened, right, yes. where uh, they've lost, they've lost <laughs> these CDs with uh, all the personal information, you know, the bank details, everything. 25 million Britons, right, oh have gosh. had their personal details lost in the post by the government. Everyone with a child could be in danger of having their IDs stolen. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> this... <laughs> I'm lonely, but I'm rich. <laughs> This, yes. this is the government minister responsible, <laughs> Mr. Darling. I saw him in American Pie. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this I don't understand. The black eyebrows and the white hair. I don't... <laughs> Wait, what is it, ginger pubes? What is it? <laughs> Something for everyone? <laughs> uh, uh, he's 
not very good at his job, in fairness. He's a laugh to have around Parliament because he's called Alistair Darling, so he can do no. kind of, you know, hello, darling, and you look lovely, darling, uh. and you're a fucking idiot, darling, you're sacked. <laughs> I love television here. You can drink, you can swear. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've never drank on television. This really? is a first. I drank so. Down in one, down in one. No, I'm <laughs> Lots of simple things in life. Oh, how, my. How, how annoyed are the audience right now? Yeah, yeah we get it. You're great. drinking. We're not. Cole, you haven't met the Queen, but you did. You, you and the Pussycat Dolls performed for Prince Philip mm. and Camilla. Mm. You were shocked uh, by that Prince picture. Charles. <laughs> yeah. Prince Charles. Prince, Prince Charles. Prince Charles. And Camilla. Yes. What song did you choose to perform in front of? Ooh, that's a mm. good question. Uh, I think we performed I Hate This Part. <laughs> no. Really? We did? No. <laughs> You hey, got up in front, hey, hey, in front hey, of uh, Prince Charles and Camilla and sang Don't You Wish Your Girlfriend Was Paul. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, we got a lot of balls. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it we, were very... we were backstage laughing so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's an empowering song. We were just giving. We <laughs> 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 Uh, Tom Hanks, sir, you've got a new movie out that you just went to the premiere of. Yes, indeed. Which I know is very close to your heart. But before we do, we just have to spend, <laughs> we just have to spend a few minutes, because you're here and you haven't been on the show, just to marvel at your career. Which oh, is, is for it, sure. It is an amazing, no. <laughs> you know, most successful actors, they, you know, their box office is kind of, you know, in millions. Over eight billion dollars. Your wow. movies. Yeah. Well, that's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. All right. Then why did I have to pay for this suit? <laughs> but isn't that, that, that's like, that's like a country. Oh, that's, that's extraordinary. That's like yeah. a successful country. I could secede. You can. Yeah. You could be yeah. king of somewhere. Then I could ask you to come and mm -hmm. sing, My Girlfriend is Hot Like You. <laughs> <laughs> What's your wish? The Sleeps in Seattle, Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Apollo 13, all the three Toy Stories. Yes, 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 yes. That's what you It's amazing. Yeah, they, it's been, it's been and fun. And when you look back, is there one that you kind of like, you think, that's the one I'm really happy I, I said yes to? Well, there's some, I got to tell you, when we did Apollo 13, it was the first time I was only with two other guys for like most of the movie. And I have to tell you, you might have noticed this on some, you know, Band of Brothers. When three guys are making the movie, the jokes become so filthy <laughs> as of lunchtime of the first day of the movie. <laughs> and I got to tell you, Kevin Bacon, and Bill Paxton, who were in the capsule with me, know the m foulest joke. <laughs> and we were trying to like out foul and out gross each other, you know. And that's how we spent most of our trip to the moon, saying, "All right, a guy is hunting, and a bear comes into his." <laughs> and we just go from there. And in in your first kind of big movie, Splash, I mean, that must have been a really horrible. Job, you know, all the way underwater scenes. Right? Well, oh, well, that was, it was kind of, a, there we were, there was no way, everybody said, how did you shoot those underwater scenes? Well, we jumped in the water. <laughs> <laughs> we got and held our breath, and then we shot it. It's amazing how they did that, no special effects. But we had to learn how to scuba dive, and, and because I'm in clothes, there was always an air tank, you know, somewhere up there, because we're in about 30 feet of water. Mm -hmm. But they had this underwater uh, phone booth, that was weighted down with a dome on the bottom of the ocean down in the Bahamas. And the dome was filled with water. So if Ron Howard, the director, had to give us an instruction, he would swim over there and I would get towed by a safety diver because I couldn't swim because I had iron weights in my pants to keep me down. Okay. So he would tow me over there and stick my head up, you know, in this dome of water, which was about that big. And then I'd wait. And then Ron's head would come up with a regulator, <laughs> with a regulator in his mouth. And go, All right, that's good. That's good. If you, if you just have more wonder, I, I need to have the eyes open a little bit more, and 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 don't look like you're out of breath. All right. All right. <laughs> and then that's literally a regulator. This is the proper trophy. I've only yeah. ever seen it from a distance. Wow. And is it one you get to keep? 
Yes, I do. You know, I know it's a bit embarrassing, but I carry it along all the way. <laughs> bring it along. Was that in your hand luggage like today? Yes. <laughs> Glass. It is. It is. You don't want to drop that. No, we don't want to drop it. Listen, no. congratulations, Conchita. Thank you. Such a popular win on the night. Everyone Thank was so you. happy. I cried the whole time. Uh, well, I don't blame you. I was crying. We were all crying. All the commentators, we were all in the hall afterwards going, <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's been tweeting about you. Cher was tweeting about you. Yes. That's so cool. It is. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like share, share? Yeah. <laughs> You're the rightful heir to the chair throne, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I was very excited about this tweet because she gave me two advice. She said, "Darling, first, uh, well, she didn't wrote darling, but in my mind, she said." <laughs> <laughs> She, she tweeted, um, uh, darling, you deserve a lovelier name and a better wig. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Yeah, my hairstylist was well, quite... Well, you chose yes. Cochita, Cochita, right? Yes, I Yeah, did. so that's... So, uh, because I thought my hair was quite nice. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Mind you, if anyone knows wigs, it's Cher. You have I to know. listen to her wig advice. I know, yeah. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, she's all over that wig yes, thing. Yes, <laughs> And uh, apparently you had some flowers waiting for you in your dressing room here. Yes. Tell the people who sent you flowers. Well, I got flowers in my dressing room, and the card said, We love you, Elton and David. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't get any flowers. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, listen, let's talk about the beer, because to my mind, you know, you, in this country, you come from a long, you know, there's a legacy of kind of mainstream entertainers like you, from Danny LaRue to Dame Edna to Lily Savage. But even here in Britain, People are a bit, if not freaked out, they're kind of confused by the beard. Why do you think the beard is such a big deal? Actually, I don't really, well, I know it is something like you don't see every day. So, but I created this bearded lady just to show everybody that you, it's so cheesy, but you just get one life, you know, and you better make it fabulous. And that's just my own truth. And I, I feel this stage persona and I, I felt more comfortable on stage. And beside that, you know, I'm a member of the gay community and our stories are similar. And being a teenager in this small village wasn't the funniest thing on earth. So over the years, I tried to fit in and I changed myself in every, every way you can imagine. I just wanted to be part of the game. And, and then I realized, well, I, I create the game. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Can I just say that? Oh, yeah. Can I just say, the wonderful thing about watching you there, um, and as you say, you don't see this every day, but A, it's amazingly glamorous. B, you, you completely inhabit your skin so beautifully. And I think you raise so many questions, but you're also all the answers. That's what's so <laughs> great about you. There's no well, doubt. Right. <laughs> so, you know, Conchita Verst, you're everywhere, you're on all the papers, you're all over the internet, da da da. So what is your plan now? Have you made a plan yet? No. I don't. Okay, TikTok, I know, be making a plan. I know, but you know what? Our, our society is so fast, you know, and everything is so, so quick. Yeah. So we really try to, you know, sit back and, and look and watch and choose wisely. Yeah. So, this so did you, do you have you material from an album already? Was that all there already? Or are you going to have to write new songs? Oh, and... I have to, to make new stuff because, yeah, there, there are some songs, but, you know, I... My goal is a Grammy, so these songs should better be good. Yeah. And you should have Sia. Yeah. Sia writes good songs. Yeah. I yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I think America, well, America's already, you know, because you know, so many, it's weird because America doesn't really pay attention to the Eurovision, but America's gone mad for you. So if I was you, I'd just go to Heathrow and go there. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Elle will write you a song. Yes. I mean, come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you should. <laughs> or you could represent the UK at Eurovision next year. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, you can back. Yeah, you can Listen, I know you guys, uh, you've got a crazy schedule, yes. so we're going to let you go. And I feel bad because you won't be seeing uh, your old co-star, Cameron yes. Diaz. Yeah, but I heard she's going to be here, so I had a little gift for her that I brought. Just because... Uh, <laughs> I just thought she might want... This is <laughs> This is real stuff. Did, did you make that yourself? <laughs>
We <laughs> never. 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 <laughs> it all literally yeah. came together. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in the way it will be confused. It'll all be mm -hmm. confused. Sorry, terrible. Buddy. Right, there Sorry. we go. Uh, very quickly, before we move on, uh, Ben Stiller left you that gift on the table. For me? Yeah. Yes. The jail. I'm a little bit afraid. What is it? <laughs> what is it? The jail. Oh! Yeah. oh. <laughs> Uh, Diane, you probably haven't noticed this, but uh, British people mm. and, and Americans as well, travelling around Europe, uh, we can find it a bit confusing. Right? This is something we've noticed. That if you look at a man right, right. In, in Europe, you're not sure <laughs> if they're European or gay. <laughs> right? That's so, what my boyfriend says all the time. Oh, he's British. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's really <laughs> British. <laughs> well, no, they like the tight pants. I like, I'm European, I like it. You know, I tr forever try to get him into tighter pants. And he's like, nope, that's gay. I'm like, no, it's Paul Smith. I'm like, right, that's British. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it brings us to a little game that uh, we, we've played before. I'm sure we'll play it again, uh, called <laughs> Gay or European. <laughs> <laughs> We've a selection of people. John, Matthew, you're men of the world. You can play along with this. Uh, so, who's our first person? Okay, stand up. Oh, now that is difficult. Um, <laughs> what do you, like what do you European. You think European? European. Matthew? Uh, wow, this is. It's tough, isn't it? <laughs> Turn around. See, now, do you know what's giving. Now, the thing that's confusing me. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> See, I would have said European because of the no belt. Yeah, yeah. No belt. You know what I love about this is that the fact that you're using us to do your cruising for <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah. spend hours talking to this man. <laughs> the no belt bit. I mean, how are we going to get the no belt bit? <laughs> okay, so we think gay. Gay? Is everyone saying gay? Yeah. I'm going gay. You're going gay? all going gay. Okay. okay. Gay or European? Gay! Yay! 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 Okay. So he's gay. Uh, next one, next one. Oh, now. Oh, oh, I don't know. Those ears would be handy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate, but you volunteered, let's be honest. <laughs> you can't, you can't I'm imagine going no European. one's noticed. European. You're kidding, you European? I'm European? I'm going European. If those are the two choices, I'm those are the two yep, choices. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. European. I'm well, gonna go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go gay. <laughs> I'm gonna go gay because I think he looks British. So okay, he must... okay, I'll go gay with you. Okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey. No. That could end up on some clip show somewhere. Just that sentence. I'll go gay with you. <laughs> okay, let's find out. Oh. Yeah. oh. Where are you from? Spain, Santander. Oh, well, 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 well. Yeah. You look very fun. Yeah, yeah, very good. They just tell me his name is Nacho. Nacho. <laughs> is it really Nick? Your name? It is, yeah. Is that a nickname? It is, yeah. Okay. Why are you called Nacho? I dread to think. Because it's a short version of Ignacio, which is, you know, in Spain it doesn't sound so stupid, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love about this? Is more people can understand you than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Uh, one more, one more. Oh, now. Oh. Well, I would, I, would, I would say gay. I'd say you ought to be. I'm saying gay. Man. Uh... <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Um... <laughs> I'm going gay. I'm going gay. I'm yep. Going gay. Okay. So, do any European? I, I, I'm saying European. You're saying European? Say European? Okay. Yeah. It was a three gays, one European, and we have a. Oh. <gasps> Germany. You're from Germany. Germany. Oh. Diana, ich liebe dich. Yeah. Oh. Du wohnst in Deutschland? Ja. Du siehst gar nicht deutsch aus. <laughs> naja. But uh, he doesn't look very German. Would you have guessed Germany, right? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gone with Germany. No, you I, I, I went gay. You went gay? You yeah. were the way to the cocktail French, on it. I could have, would have said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's your name? What's your name, nice German? Simon. Simon? <laughs> you know 
know that German name. No, it's Simon. A German name. Oh, is it a German name? Simon. All right. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you very much, all the games and Europeans. Very good. Now.